Okay, so I'm back, and I guess I'm re-filming this video because I actually made this video before, and uh, I filmed it all in portrait mode and uploaded it, and then realized I filmed it in portrait mode, so I deleted it. So, uh, this is just going to be a, 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 not an install guide, but how I installed it, uh, on how I installed my two-step. Now, um, if you're not really, this is the N2MB Watt Box, but it's on an automatic 3.7 2013 Mustang. And um, all I'm doing is just showing you how I routed the lines and where I pinned things into on this. And um, kind of explaining everything. If you're not really good at wiring, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I would recommend you getting someone who knows how to wire stuff um, to go ahead and do this. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and start. You have the actual box and the box is going to be mounted. Well, you can kind of mount it wherever. Where I mounted it, let me go ahead and turn the line on. I mounted it right here. This is a little bit of a mess. I'm sorry, but I went ahead and there's a zip tie right here, and this is where I mounted the box. The harness, um, there's a lot of excess wire, so I kind of just tucked it up there. But there's a grommet down here. Uh, let me see. It's easier to show it from this side. Um, there's a grommet down here that you poke through right there. You can see, and... Um, I have the wire harness going with wire loom going all the way up here to here and then it comes up right here and um, I ran four of the wires down here the ground I just have the ground which is the black wire on the harness I actually just have it right here and that's the ground for the N2MB watt box and then the green wire on the wiring harness this is going to be your signal or clutch position wire so if you have a manual you're going to pin that into wherever i don't know what the pin number is for manual but um if you have an automatic you're actually just going to tie this into the switch for the trans brake so this is i'll show you how that works but so you're going to have in this wire loom four wires red yellow blue and orange now the Orange and red wire actually go to this fuse right here where the blue tape is, this 15 amp fuse. It goes to the wire that goes there. And um, well, let me turn this light off so it's not. Okay. So the orange and red wire go to this 15 amp fuse. I believe um, on the install guide it says which, on N2MB's website, it says which way they go, but. Um, I think the orange specifically goes into the one that goes into the fuse and the red goes into the one that goes into the uh, into the wiring harness for the ECU. And this is actually, uh, this is the coils. So this goes to the coils and that's what actually interrupts the um, spark plugs and uh, lets you control RPM. Okay, so the yellow wire is actually gonna be your RPM signal wire and that's gonna go to the watt box and um, this goes to the middle connector on your PCM, and uh, it's pin one. And so that's just where you splice into, and you go ahead and solder onto pin one. And that's how you get your RPM signal. I believe that it's actually the fuel injector. So when you're doing the programming, you're going to go ahead and hit fuel injector other. I know you can go ahead and judge me for this. This is the dual relay for the trans brake that I made myself. It's really ugly, and I don't care. <laughs> so... That's where the red, the yellow wire goes. Okay, and then the blue wire is going to be um, the acceleration position. The, the position on the acceleration pedal. My bad. I screwed that up. But that's going to go on the very bottom connection of the PCM. So the very third one. And that's actually pin 29. And um, you're going to you're gonna splice into there and that's where that one goes. So that's... We've covered the green wire, which is your... Um, clutch position, aka if you have an automatic that's just going to go into the signal for the trans brake. Um, then you have the red and orange wires that go to that 15 amp fuse. I think it's fuse 40, but you saw which on the fuse box, which specific fuse that was. And then you have your blue and yellow wires. And the blue wire is going to be your, um, your acceleration pedal position. And then the yellow wire is going to be your RPM signal. There's also other places you can get RPM signals. So if you have a different wiring diagram and they say like 
you can get it from the coils or you can get it from the crank position sensor um, there's a bunch of places you just have to point that out on the actual software for m2mb where you got it and so if you do exactly how i did it you're gonna do um rpm signal other and i'll show you what i mean on the program and then we have the ground as far as the way that i have this all wired up for the for the um, switch i think i'm just gonna put it on a button but this is the switch right here so i have this nice fake carbon fiber and uh, when i put it up it's engaged and so the trans brake engages and then it, it does as you'll see in the video that I'm going to provide. And then when I switch it down, that's what that disengages it and it, the car launches. So I'll go ahead and show two videos of what that sounds like. Okay, I am for sure filming this time. <laughs> So I know that this really wasn't like an install guide on how to and everything, but it's how I have it all wired up. Um, I did solder every connection. I didn't use like crimps or anything like that just because I figured it'd be best to solder it. Um, Soldering is pretty easy, but if you've never done it before, um, maybe try practicing some before you do stuff on your car. Also make sure that you have the negative battery terminal like disconnected while you're doing any sort of wiring stuff with your vehicle. You don't want to fry anything or, or affect anything that would really suck to diagnose how to fix it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't really know how much more informative I can be on it. Um, feel free to ask questions, but it sometimes does get difficult with really technical questions, um, answering them over like messaging it. But um, I will go ahead and put on the description where all the wires go and everything as well. So thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much it. Short video, but I wanted to go ahead and finish it and clear it up. And uh, that's it. I'm out.